Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. I'll just give you another story. I'll, I'll paraphrase it really, really fast. Okay, you ready? Peter was chained between two soldiers. He was asleep. He was going to die the next day. The angel came and, and shined his light into the, into the cell and he smote him and he said, Peter, get up! And Peter's like, I'm going to die tomorrow. Why do I want to get up? I, what, who, who are you to tell me to get up? What? Don't you see my cir circumstance right now? Don't you see what I'm, what's going on in my life? They're going to kill me. These guys are here to make sure I can't go nowhere. That's not the way the story went. It said when the angel of the Lord smote Peter and said, get up, Peter got up. Why did Peter get up? Because he was obedient. And, the, and you know what's great? The chains that bound him fell off. They fell off. I just wonder who in this place, hey, is, is, God is asking you to get up. The, the, he's already said, get up. And you just say there, I'm helpless to do anything about it. But the truth is, is, we are all helpless to do anything about most things. The truth is, God is still calling you to get up. And it says, then he walked up and the, 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 the bars opened and then they, they walked past all the guards in the whole place. He got to the, 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 the steel gate leading to the city. And guess what? It opened by its own court. And it says, then Peter came to himself. He said, I thought I was seeing a dream. I thought this was a vision. But no, surely the Lord has delivered me. And he, he walked free from what bound him. Yes. Free from what was going to kill him. Amen? Yes. Matter of fact, all the guards in that place died the next day. Yes. And so did the king. The king who commanded him to be, be, be put in jail wasn't very long after the worms ate him because he said, they said, that's the voice of a God. And he didn't give glory to God, so the worms came and ate him. And so, so God dealt with not, not just the people that held him back, not just the circumstances that, of his life, not just the, the, the king who was over him. He dealt with all of those people. God did it. Amen. And see, we're asking God to do certain things for us to be obedient. God is asking you to be obedient and let him worry about all the rest of that. Amen. But we got to get up we got to be obedient. we got to listen. But you can't even hear if you don't read your Bible. Man, I had dropped the mic if I had it. Okay, because the truth is, we, we won't even do the little thing. We're asking God to do a big thing. He, we won't do a little thing. He asked you to do a little thing. And that's some good preaching right there. Woo! Just remember, obedience is not a feeling. Following God is your choice. It's your choice. You choose today. Choose in this moment to follow Him. Amen? Can you stand with me? I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm done right there. Okay, that's it. That's the message. Stand with me. I just want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Woo! Say woo with me. Because <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, that was a good word right there. That was a good word. And God is going to change everything in your life right now. Okay? God, is, God brought you to this moment to change your life. Amen? He brought, you to, he brought you from wherever you were to here. Wherever you're listening to me at, wherever you're hearing my voice right now, God brought you here to change your life. Say it with me. God brought me here. To change, to change my, my life. life. I'm going to get up. All right, let's pray it right now. Father, Lord, I just thank you, Lord, for this word. I thank you for this time we've had together. I thank you, Lord, right now that we have a people who want to be obedient to you. Father, I thank you that, that you're the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You're the King of our hearts, Father. And so, Father, we, we right now, we, we ask that you forgive us yes. of our sins, Father, we ask that you forgive us of our, uh, of our disobedience right now, and we're asking you to come into our heart fresh and new today. From the top of our head to the sole of our feet, Lord, this is your temple. Come and cleanse it right now by the blood of Jesus. We make you Lord of our life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. amen.